I like stories. Stories are nice, especially stories about babies and Yoshis. Well, not babies. Uh, but Yoshis, yeah. sure. Read me a bedtime story, Vickis. <laughs> <laughs> well, a, this one's about a stork, and um, it's like the opposite of bedtime, but... Oh. I so hope that counts. it's dusk and pre-dawn. <laughs> well, that's okay. I stay up that late anyway. Mm. <laughs> I figured you would. Blinding speed. Just takes a while to actually get there. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta give him time to read the panel. <laughs> that didn't really seem very blinding at all. Yeah, I think someone's wrong with the capture card. <laughs> She's definitely going, like, much faster than this. <laughs> Obviously. That is a really long spin. Get, getting dizzy, guys! I guess again, to allow for story time. See, and it looks just like, it looks just like he's flailing back and forth. <laughs> like, by the, by the, for the amount of time he spent spinning, he probably could have rescued at least one of them by this point. Undetected. Sir, that baby! It's off our radars! <laughs> we also get this, uh, interesting 3D modeling. Yeah, like, what was this, 1995? Look, it was the Super Nintendo. They, they, they didn't have much to work with. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy this isn't the style they went with. <laughs> yeah, a whole game of this would have been kind of eh. Yep. And I mean, this game looks so nice too, right? Yeah, exactly. The the 2D is really nice. Mm-hmm. Thank God Yoshi has that little like saddle thing that probably broke the fall really nicely. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Hush, you. I don't know, isn't this illegal? <laughs> <laughs> that map looks like nothing like... Don't be stupid, storks can't read. Anything. That's, yeah, that's not a very good map. <laughs> that too. Those little 3D arms with a 2D piece of paper map too. <laughs> um, guys, a baby kind of fell out of the sky. I think I might be high. <laughs> Oop. No, that's later in the game. Oh, yeah. But not that much later. Wish I had a gang of toadies. <laughs> toadies is such a great name for bad guys. Are they really, are they, are they really called toadies? I don't know. Because that would be confusing <laughs> with toads. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think this game has any toads, though, so I think you're safe. Right. Act casual, Yoshi. Act casual. Mm -hmm. I pretend you've caught on! <laughs> There's no run button in this game, so we can't even break out. Do the two brothers even have parents? Yeah, this does a weird thing to Mario Cannon. <laughs> not that we care, so, but... <laughs> no, of course not. Welcome to Yoshi's Island! Um... You. As you could probably tell, we are playing the advanced version because that has some extra levels and also does a certain something with the sound effects. Oh boy. I don't know if that's a bonus. Mm. Well, it's... It's a bonus, but not necessarily a good one. <laughs> There's actually a guide on GameFAQs that lists every single change between the oh, two games. Of course. God plus GameFAQs. Oh, I must know! <laughs> Oh, don't you worry. There's there's some good ones. Oh, do, do you like have it in front of you? I I have it in one of my tabs in Chrome. Perfect. But at least the baby knows where it wants to go, cause that stork sure couldn't have read that map. Yeah, I don't think babies have like automatic GPS. <laughs> it's a new feature. You have to pay extra though. It's kind of a pain. No, this is like I the think new... creatures that communicate mostly by hopping would have a tough time working out a relay system for transferring a baby. Well, they've got to learn like Morse code. <laughs> ah, I love the theme of this level. I'm, I don't think it gets played anywhere else in the game, but I hate these new games. They're all cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, seriously, look, like we had to sit there for like five minutes. Ugh, just terrible. And then all the it. rest of the story doesn't exist. 
<laughs> this game doesn't even let you skip cutscenes. Isn't it terrible? Oh, God. What is the... What is the 90s? <laughs> oh, something like that. This level introduces us to our most basic concepts of running, jumping, and all trampolines, I guess. And eating. And eating. Always eating. Okay, yeah, that, that was a really fast intro. It's, you know, just literally to make you get stuff, like, just to figure out what the very basics are. Well, you know, you just... Right. And then this level continues the theme. You just gotta go over Maslow's hierarchy on the basic level. Jumping, ball trampoline, <laughs> did they eating. Did they update the graphics for the advanced version? I honestly don't know. Because it, it seems slightly better, like, I think maybe it's like, it's 60 frames per second, or it's more than the Super Nintendo version, because... I, know, no, I think it's... both of those games were 60. Uh, maybe I just like emulated it shitty before or something, because this looks like <laughs> slightly nicer than, than what I'm used to. It could be. Anyway, actual game mechanics that will be showing up everywhere. You'll notice that some of the coins that we collected there actually glowed red. There are 20 red coins in every single level, and they count towards your score at the end of the level. Also doing that are the big flowers that we got, and they're actually the big things for your score. Like, coins are one... Flowers are 20, right? 10. Oh, right, okay. And then yep. the stars are... Well, it's one star, one point per star. One point per star, yep. Stars double as a life meter and a score meter in this game, so we'll... Isn't like a max, max of 30? Yep, we'll, we'll see that real soon, because I'll be able to collect some. Oh, I thought you were going to say, because you're going to get hit. <laughs> no, never me. This is a pro run, Mister. Full disclosure: I have played this game, but I've never beaten it. Mm. Me neither. Really? Which is like a, I've, I've... a recurring theme for me in games in general. <laughs> mm, I have uh, beaten game, beaten this game, but I've never 100 percented it. So there are several levels I've never seen before. This will be fun. That's not how you do it. <laughs> I'm also Got not very good at throwing these, but this will serve another purpose, I swear. <laughs> uh, You'll notice that my eggs are turning this lovely red color. And it's also a good demonstration of Newton's third law. Mm-hmm. Nope. Still no. Come on. Nope. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, after color shifting all my eggs, you'll be happy to know that I think I hit it. Maybe. Yeah, Ain't that's, no that's thing. It. There we go. I was still getting used to it at this point. You'll see some pro egg throwing. No, I better. <laughs> These little jumping dudes are the star meters. If you get hit at all, you lose baby Mario, and he starts making the most annoying th noise you have ever heard. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is, it's the best, like, reason never to get hit. It's, it, yeah, it's such a good deterrence. Like, <laughs> just losing is not enough of a punishment. They, like really make you regret it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what the colored eggs do. Okay. Yep. Red eggs, um, that you can see I got them from bouncing something off, bouncing the, uh, egg off walls. Red eggs will actually give you star points every time you throw them into things. Uh, yellow eggs will give you coins. It's a cool feature that I never really used much, and now that I've started doing it in this run, it is, like, just the best thing. Yeah, I've never really messed with it either, but I've never cared about 100 percent Mm-hmm. I, I never really thought about it, but, like, you'll, you'll see me start to do it all the time in the later levels. I'm sure that won't help just your because... speed running. <laughs> it's actually because I'm really bad and I get hit a lot, and that lets me generate extra star points. Um, I thought sense. you just said this was a pro run. <laughs> I never said anything of the sort. Um, you'll notice over there that when you get the fifth flower in the level, you get a 1-up. And you'll also notice that those question mark clouds don't show up too much. There are some hidden ones. <laughs> well, those things actually have like one of the on-off transparency things that works really nicely when you're going 60 frames per second, but when you slow that down for most internet video players to 30 seconds... <laughs> It either disappears completely, or, or you can uh, always see it. <laughs> yep. Ah, the horrors of internet video. The sacrifices we make. <laughs> it's just terrible. And we've made it to the goal. Hooray! Okay, tell me if you've heard of this. Is it true that if, like, you run to the goal, like, just straight through, you'll always get a star? Or a flower? 
I don't know. That I think that's true for Super Mario Brothers three. Oh, maybe that, that's it's, some, that's maybe the kind that's of thing that they would do. Like, I mean, it, that is true for Super Mario Bros. Two, but uh, or three, but it wouldn't surprise me if that works here too, because there's only one run speed. Yeah, where you, like you just run right into it. There's not really like a max I could, speed. I could it's definitely see that happening. Running or not running. Mm-hmm. This well, looks inviting. That was the first level. <laughs> oh, yeah. there, this, chain this next level is just going to be so much fun. I love we it so we much. Love chain chumps. Yep. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time, guys. He had to say that right after I moved so that the green Yoshi wasn't waving you goodbye, didn't you? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. <sighs> what game are we playing? <laughs>